Hi everyone, Privet, this is Eli here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and thank you so much guys for watching my videos. That really means a lot to me. In case if you're here for the first time on my YouTube channel, a quick reminder before we start this reaction. And my name is Adi. I'm from India. I make reaction videos to support local artists from different parts of the globe. There are a lot of amazing underrated bands such as like metal bands, rock, pop, jazz, blues, grunge, etc. etc. bands from different parts of the globe. Together I'm here to support and check out all this amazing and, and to be honest discover all this amazing artists. And I also check out legendary artists from different parts of the globe. So I have been doing a couple of reactions for the amazing legendary artist Kino. Thanks to some of you who suggested me so many songs of Kino and getting to know about an artist who has been there since decades and decades and the legacy of Kino is still there. People like us, we make reaction videos to learn about, you know, an artist and connect, know about an artist. But somewhere I feel that, you know, this is also something really interesting. The reason why I say that is that I never really thought like 10, 15 or 20 years ago that there will ever be a chance to, to express myself the way I thought about music, you know. I remember with my mom when I used to sit, we used to have a small transistor radio where we used to get a lot of radio stations from the nearby countries to India, like say Bangladesh, China, Myanmar, you know, Nepal. Even though I never really understood the language, I used to listen to the, the songs and sit down and wonder what they are talking about. And I used to think, will I ever understand all this language? Will I be, will I be, ever be able to figure out all this amazing artist? Now, almost after like 25-30 years, as I sit here and I talk to you guys and make these videos here, life is quite strange, you know, probably back in the 90s when I was trying to figure out music from different countries I had no clue because we did not have computer television was quite limited you know a lot of reasons right so many of you who are watching my video right now would be still watching or listening to you know Kino's music right it's really strange that you know there are certain things that happens to your life only when you are when destiny actually takes you there and without the perfect divine time that thing will never come to you even though you are just surrounded by it life is really an irony i i think in that way i just wanted to share so uh, this song has been requested by so many of you so i'm going to check out um this song of um you know summer will be over um summer will end basically waiting for an answer so this was released back in 1991 okay this is a song written in the spring of 1990 by the band Kino from their album black and this song was actually released after the death of Victor Soy uh, that's that sad man the song was recorded at the port studio at the Dutch uh, in Pliensiums. I think I am not able to pronounce it correctly guys sorry that's probably a location I guess um, it's a mini it's a municipality in in Guri parish Tukums municipality in Latvia it's in the coast of Gulf of Riga okay that's where the studio was back then and that's the same place where Victor Soy went to rest after the concert the recording was carried out on a household tape recorder with an acoustic guitar subsequently a part of this recording with an incomplete first verse was published in 2018 oh. there is also a rough version of the songs mixing which was released in 2002 on the white album and this is really amazing the last time when i did a record when i was actually reacting to kino and then i realized that you know he's no more and they were using his vocals recorded back then for their concerts you know it's just kind of touches your heart and just makes you wonder man ouch that hurts 
but all i can say someone from india that even though i don't understand russian um i really appreciate all forms of music and i can only say that the legacy of kino should go on forever and ever and if by making such videos the audience who are watching my videos maybe not from russia maybe let's say from people from india or bangladesh or nepal or any other country who are watching my videos if they feel good about it or if they also get to know about kino i will be really happy that's the only intention for me to connect with people from different parts of the globe so really excited guys let's check out kino's summer will end We are ready guys. Let's check it out.
Man, such a beautiful vibe of this song. Wow. There were actually hundreds of thoughts going inside my mind when I was listening to it because, you know, the song was released after Victor so he passed away. So I'm sure that all the fans of Kino back in the 90s, you know, probably would be really sad, kind of kind of really upset when this song would have been out because they of course, you know, when you know someone who has passed away, when he was just not even 30 years old, man. I mean like wow, that that's kind of you know, that's kind of really heartbreaking there are some amazing artists to be honest that i've discovered after i started making reaction videos one artist is raymond from myanmar you know of course chester the one that i'm the t-shirt that i'm wearing of linking park you know randy rhodes very famous guitarist there are some amazing musicians who passed away so early man and i think that regret will always be there with us in our mind somewhere down the line because I was never really listening to Kino back then so now when I listen to all these songs thanks to all of you for asking me to react on this you know just kind kind of takes me back to the 80s 90s music because I explore a lot from that era and I can understand to an extent what you guys can feel you know because I also think like and 80s and the 70s and the 90s outlook i am not someone who is so much into you know um new age thing i prefer to you know follow the old traditional or the classic way of listening to classic rock bands or you know the the rock bands or rock and roll bands of the 80s 90s so i come from that era myself i i feel that i belong to that era and i can relate what you guys can feel probably when you listen to this song i was actually checking out the in the translated lyrics in english you know and it's really nice i mean like it's defining something the way the song tells i turn off the tv i'm writing you a letter about the fact that i can't look at shit anymore about the fact that i don't have the strength anymore about the fact that i almost drank but i haven't forgotten you about the phone ringing wanted me to get up he got dressed and went or rather ran but i was the only one who sent him said i'm sick and tired and i did not sleep that night i'm waiting for an answer no more hope summer will end soon this wow i mean it's deep probably um you know i have to figure out the exact interpretation of the song but it was really a beautiful song, a very groovy song. This sound has been definitely used by musicians in the later period of the 2000s and the early 2000s, you know. There are a lot of music which I've heard which has resemblance to a sound like this. Of course, they would have definitely been inspired by bands such as Kino and other artists of that era. But having said that, I really enjoyed this song and I hope you guys really had a good time. Do let me know in the comment section what you think about this song and I will be back soon guys with another reaction video. Until then guys, take care, stay safe, namaste, spasiba, rock on and keep supporting your local artist. Thank you.